Kitty invites you to the Illuminati. What conspiracy theories do you think are too logical to ignore? New Coke was a way for Coca-Cola to switch from real sugar to corn syrup without people noticing. Switch to the new formula that everyone hates, keep it for a while so that people demand the old one back, then switch it back after enough time has passed that people wouldn't notice the relatively subtle change. The change is not subtle at all once you've switched to Mexican Coke for a while, which is still made with cane sugar. Going back to the corn syrup Coke is awful now. It coats your mouth in this weird gross way that is hard to ignore. Mattress firm is a drug cartel or a money laundering company or maybe they are laundering money for the drug cartels. I don't know, but whatever it is, they're up to no good. We talk about this at work all the time. There's an area that has three of them within about five miles of one another. Who are all these people buying mattresses so frequently that you need three stores to keep up with the sales? Freak and R mixed did an episode on them. Running a mattress store involves minimum overhead. A typical mattress salesperson needs to make only a bit over one sale per work week on average. The recession was so long and deep that most people put off buying one for years. With the number of millionaires slash billionaires that are psychopaths or similar, there must be a few super rich serial killers out there. By extension there must be people making money supplying victims in the same way Epstein was supplying girls to the wealthy who wanted to scratch an itch. With the money, power, and influence would come governments and intelligence agencies willing to overlook or cover up terrible actions for leverage. David Miscavige, the chairman of the Church of Scientology definitely murdered his wife and is getting off scot-free for it. Him and his wife got into a pretty heated argument in 2007 and she hasn't been seen since. Lawyers hired by David claim she is still alive and devotes 100% of her time to work at the Church of Scientology, which is why she hasn't been seen since August 2007. In 2013, a former member of the church had filed a missing person report that was closed after a few officers had spoken and seen Mrs. Miscavige, even though there's no evidence whatsoever of this meeting. All missing persons reports now are turned down since this investigation is forever closed. She is either dead or locked in a bunker. Nothing's actually happening in Area 51. The government just keep it so people will focus on it and ignore the shady stuff happening somewhere else. Actually, Area 51 was created during the Cold War as a testing and development facility for aircraft, including the U-2 and SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance planes. And currently it's probably being used to test few weapons and that's it. Every country has their secret projects and we all know it. The entire alien and conspiracy theories have only fueled movies and TV shows. That's it. That the US knowingly left prisoners of war behind in Vietnam. Isn't that just the plot of the second Rambo film? Yep it is. Popular culture has reflected the live prisoners theory, most notably in the 1985 film Rambo, First Blood Part 2. Source, Wikipedia. Google Maps only asks you for feedback on its navigation when it knows it did a good job. I use navigation all the time, and I find that when it gets me to the destination on time or earlier than predicted, I get a notification asking to rate the trip. But if it gets me there after it originally estimated, I never get that notification. It wouldn't be difficult to program this into the program, so you're likely correct. Google probably figures they don't want to ask you right after they did a bad job. The fashion industry makes too much money from purses to care about making pockets for women easily available. Edit. All the people saying just buy men's pants have apparently never seen a woman's hips. Wanna really have your mind blown? Take your pants to a seamstress. We can add pockets or make existing pockets bigger. I do it all the time. $5 a pocket and I measure your phone to make sure it fits in without any issues. The reason Disney came out with a movie called Frozen was so that when you googled Disney Frozen you would get information about the movie and not websites talking about Walt Disney's body being frozen. The same goes for Disney on Ice. Secret societies definitely exist. No, we don't. Well yeah. All you need to do is get a couple of buddies together. Privately meet as a group. Give yourselves a name and don't tell anyone. Bingo, you have a secret society. A guy I know once told me he was part of the Billuminity in university. It was just six guys all called Bill who would meet at the pub once a month 
and tried to help with each other's goals. I believe that the U.S government has men in black that make people disappear if they know more than what's good for them. Welp, you're screwed now. Pretty sure I saw it here on Reddit at one point. But someone brought up the art trade. That these million dollar art shows slash individual pieces that go for insanely high prices are just a way for money laundering. Tax write off even. So a real estate friend of mine told me that if you made a million dollars you should get a shutty painting done. Have a mate who happens to be an art critic or evaluator value the piece at 50k then donate that piece to charity stating its value. That allows you to claim a deductible of 50k towards your taxable income due to your charitable donation. Genius. OJ Simpson is Khloe Kardashian's father. Rob Kardashian himself didn't want a DNA test done because he knew he wasn't the father. And if you look at Khloe, you can easily tell she has some similarities to OJ. I quite like the missing cosmonauts theory. It's unlikely but seems like it could have been possible. It boils down to the idea that Yuri Gagarin wasn't the first man in space. He was just the first man in space to survive the entire process. There was nothing found about any of this in the Soviet archives after the fall of the USSR. The FBI keeps posting questions like this to see what the public knows. This isn't a conspiracy theory, but I find any chance I can to say that dinosaurs definitely had feathers and denias are just clinging to Spielberg's image of them. I just don't wanna think about a T-Rex looking like a ducking chick in the mayo. While well, you're in luck I guess. We've found skin impressions that suggest T-Rex was mostly scaly. Could it have had some feathers at some point in its life? Maybe. But it definitely wasn't the fluffy Rex people were romanticizing. Velociraptor though definitely did have feathers. The Denver Airport Theory. I mean the capstan of the building literally has the Freemason logo on it. There's some weird ass apocalypse murals on the walls. The runways look like a swastika. And there's a 50 foot tall horse statue with red glowing eyes. I mean seriously who the duck designed that place. Building the airport cost 3 billion dollars more than expected. And the labor was piecemealed out through countless contractors. So nobody who built it knows the full scope of it. Oh and that 50 foot tall horse statue with red glowing eyes killed its creator. Dyer is a weird place. Nutley NJ, where Martha Stewart was born, has a butcher shop every other corner. How much meat does one small blue collar town need? Suspicious. You're saying Martha Stewart is an insatiable cannibal and has a private army of butchers quietly living amongst the sleepy townspeople and then they secretly off them and prepare them for her to feast upon. Some torture devices such as the Iron Maiden were made up hundreds of years later, so people would think well, a regular hanging ain't too bad then. Let me introduce you to one Kapirsa, the theory that Oscar winning director Ban Jun Ho made a sequel to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with his 2012 film Snowpiercer. This theory is, in my mind, 100% true. The characters and plot lines just line up too well for it not to be. McDonald's shake machines are never actually down. The night crew people are just too lazy to clean it. That's usually the case from what I've been told by people who I know that work at McDonald's. They're basically like it's a giant pain in the ass to clean. And it takes literal hours to do. All the novels written by Dean Koontz are, in fact, written by a golden retriever. The man in all of the author pictures was hired because no one would take a dog novelist seriously. Probably too late to this thread, but the idea that there are too many chicken wings for the amount of chickens sold. There is something like a billion chicken wings sold every Super Bowl. Where are they coming from? Well, you technically get four wings from every bird. So one chicken equals four wings. So 2020 Super Bowl had 1.25 billion wings divided by four and that's 312,500,000 chickens. 9 billion chickens are eaten in the US. So it really needs to be asked, where are the other 34,750,000,000 chicken wings? That civilizations have risen and fallen far earlier than we currently are aware. And that ancient civilizations were way more capable than we give them credit for. Perhaps more intelligent than we give them credit for, but it's really hard to hide some markers of advanced civilization like mass steel production. We are not any smarter, we just have more shoulders of giants to stand on. The media is manipulated by the governments, so they can teach us what to think, feel, and believe. 
Operation Mockingbird. Here is a wiki article on it. Pretty sketchy stuff. You know damn well same as I do, that Paramount made that stunt with Sonic on purpose. That's by far the best commercial they could have gotten which saved them lord knows how much money. With all the scientists in the world there has to be at least one secret lab on this planet, where they have cloned a human. I mean, it's theoretically possible to clone a human being. The main setback is ethical concerns. Then again, when has that ever stopped some people? I saw once that the Titanic that sank wasn't actually the Titanic, but a very convoluted plan to cash out insurance from the damaged RMS, Olympic, and that the Titanic retired in April 1935 under the name of RMS, Olympic. Can't find the article I read it on but it kinda makes sense, had pictures of the hull and some signature features that made it very convincing 